Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm your host, Casey Marie Hurt, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about some release relief on the reformer. Alliteration. I love it. Okay, so you know that at Fusion we're so excited about priming the body with a little bit of release work before we bring it into movement, movement education, or any type of strength work. Not only does it give a little bit of massage, increase blood flow, but what it release work really does is starts to stimulate a cascade of, of reactions neurologically to kind of incite all of your proprioceptors to wake up come to the party and move in a different way. And we know those little tight areas, those puckers that we have in our tissue, absolutely cut off any sort of um, sensation and activation communication with all of its counterparts in the body. And one of those areas that happens so much is in the occiput, right? Right where the skull meets the spine. Your eight occipital muscles are some of the most densely active muscle fibers in your whole body, which means they know how to turn on without turning off really, really well. And with people with forward head posture, this is a major issue. And if you think about what we do a lot of times, especially in a traditional Pilates class, is that we're bringing the spine into flexion. But it's no good to bring the spine into flexion, let's say in an ab curl, and you're not talking to this area of the head and neck. This is your spine too. The skull is, is definitely territory of that whole set from the tip of the tailbone to the crown of the head, right? You can't leave it out. So it's much more effective to open up this tissue, especially before ab curl, so that you can start to traction that whole deep back line of the connective tissue of the body. Not to mention that this is actually quite a bit of a stress relief. The reason why these muscles are so densely activated is it helps to keep our eyes at the horizon. And part of our highly vigilant system of staying alive as humans when we're walking on two feet is to be able to scan the horizon for any sort of danger that we might be able to hide, run away from, or be able to fight off. That's part of us. So, Really nice thing to do when you're starting a reformer class is to get people out of their monkey mind, massage this area, and prime them for some spinal flexion. And you don't even need anything else besides the reformer you have here. Make sure all the springs are on. You're gonna have your clients turn, feet on the headrest, and ever so gently, they're gonna start to lean back. And I'm gonna move my braid a little bit. Oh, this is so good. This feels like a dream. And I like to have my hands here and I just kind of drape my shoulders. You can always pad this up for somebody and you start to roll the head from right to left. Breathing into the kidney space, letting the abdominal wall go. You can even stop on one area, do some yes, some no, some little nose circles. But this is just a dream and you can really Moment by moment, let gravity really talk to the spine, traction, the back of that head and neck. Oh, your clients will always come back for more when doing this occipital release. So again, this is just a wonderful little bit of release work you can do with no extra fancy stuff for your reformer classes that really talks to this tight part that lots of people have issue with. And then from there, they have this sensation, this feeling of that kind of bobble head. So when you cue them up into their ab curls, they're gonna have much more facility and ease and start to activate those deep neck flexors that are so often overlooked when doing that frontline work. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.